Uh, Dr. John Olney was a neuroscientist who was actually the discoverer of the process of excitotoxicity that occurs in the brain. And this basically, just to give you an introduction, is what happens is when you feed certain types of amino acids, acetic amino acids, to, uh, to animals or humans, certain of the nerve cells in their brain become so excited these nerve cells will die. And he named this excitotoxicity. So he was the discoverer of the process and the lead researcher from that time till present. And what he uh, discovered was that the aspartic acid in aspartame, that third component, was an excitotoxin that was just as powerful as the original excitotoxin he discovered, L-glutamic acid. If, uh, for instance, you eat a food and you uh, feel uh, that you have clouded consciousness, it's difficult to think, you feel like you're in a, a great cloud, uh, you can't put your sentences together, have difficulty uh, coming up with uh, different components of your sentence. All of these things indicate that you're having difficulty uh, logically thinking. And that's a, a very early sign or, or sensitive sign for MSG toxicity or aspartame toxicity. Uh, some people have much worse reactions. Some people have cardiac arrest. Some people have uh, all sorts of uh, neurological problems, numbness, uh, blindness, uh, difficulty seeing, double vision. All these things can in indicate uh, sensitivity to these components. So let's just have a quick review of what MSG and the excitotoxins do. Well, they are associated with neurodegenerative diseases. They're associated with neurodevelopmental abnormalities, nervous system injury. Anytime your brain's injured, it produces it. Endocrine disorders, diabetes uh, type 1 and 2, syndrome X, gross obesity, enhanced cancer growth and spread, immune dysfunction, retinal disorders, arteriosclerosis, multiple sclerosis, lupus, and other auto autoimmune disorders, GI disorders, and sudden cardiac death. I'd put more on there, but I didn't have room. We're making these conditions advance a lot faster. We're making them a lot more severe. And we're taking cases that would never actually have developed into multiple sclerosis, and we're throwing them into full-blown disease. Same thing with Parkinson's and Alzheimer's disease. Even though they, uh, the food additives were not the original cause of the disorder. Every 10 years, they double the amount of MSG that's put in food. That's not even counting the aspartame. So we're consuming enormous amounts of these substances in a variety of foods. We're magnesium deficient, which makes you infinitely more susceptible. And we're exposed to all kinds of metals like aluminum and mercury, which paralyzes your ability of your mitochondria to produce energy. And that magnifies excitotoxicity enormously. We're developing a society because of all of these different toxins known to affect brain function. We're seeing a society that not only has a lot more people of lower IQ, but a lot fewer people of higher IQ. In other words, a dumbing down, a chemical dumbing down of society. So everyone's sort of mediocre. That leaves them dependent on government because they can't excel. We have these people of lower IQ who are totally dependent. Then we have this mass of people who are going to believe anything they're told because they can't really think clearly. And very few people of very high IQ who have good cognitive function who can figure this all out. And that's what they want. So, you know, you can kind of piece it together as to why they are so insistent in spending so many hundreds of millions of dollars of propaganda money to dumb down society.